Hi guys, uh, it's come to my attention that uh, you guys would like me to make a video on what to look for in gear. So the first thing is going to be starting with the bow. So in the tier that's reasonable, we're going to start looking at rares. So I would go weapon damage and power. Uh, and you're looking for one with two, so you get max. And fist power scales better than damage. Uh, damage, physical damage bonus percentage. So next I'm going to get the sword. Uh, I used to use a rapier or lantern, but since the short sword does more damage now, I'm going to keep these filters the exact same. You can only get one on a sword. So I'd probably just grab this one, or the, probably two fist better. Yeah, I'd just grab that one. And then for a ranger hood, what I'm going to look for on these normally is power. If I find a good one with three, maybe. Alright, they're non existent, so sometimes I'll look for uh, a little bit of dexterity. Two decks. Let's see if we can't get power here, too. So, two decks, one power. I'll probably take one of these. And then next, we're going to do a wanderer's attire. So, what I look for in these normally is just like fizz power and maybe some agility if you can get it. Uh, so something like that would look real nice, but that's a little expensive, so understandable. If you can't get it, get the fizz power instead. And then next I'm going to do some loose trousers. And you guessed it, same thing. I'm going to put some fizz power on here as well. Would be nice to get some action speed or decks as well. So like something like that would be pretty good. And for the shoes, I'm going to do some light foots. And for these, you're going to go additional. If that's too expensive uh, to get five, which 440, you can do the same thing with the move speed bonus. And 1.5 actually gives you the same as five, so it looks like you get 250 pretty good ones. And then for the gloves, I'm going to go riveted. And for these, you're going to want to get that true fizz, and maybe some agility. So, something like these would look real nice. And then for uh, a cape, I'm going to do the tattered. And you guessed it, true fizz. Something like magic damage reduction is pretty solid, but uh, ideally, yeah, I look for like uh, armor or magic damage reduction on the cape. And then for my neck piece, I'm going to do a... Um, Frost Amulet. Uh, for this one, if you can upgrade it to an epic, please do because you get that extra true fizz. It doesn't really matter what's on it. Then for the two rings, you're going to go for a ring of quickness. Not true. Um, look for a decent roll with that. Some decent rolls could be regular action, magic resistance. Health, bonus, normal health, max health, action speed, you name it, there's a lot of good ones. Um, personally, I would probably go for some fizz power, <laughs> or some action speed. And then next you're going to do a ring of courage. And on this one, we're going to just look for something like armor pens, nice. Um, Magic damage reduction, probably take that because it's a little magic. And uh, yeah, that's uh, what a cute would look like uh, in, in the blue level. If you want to see what mine looks like, here it is. Got the two weapon damage armor pen and fizz power on my bow. On the hood, I have fizz power, magic damage reduction, and then the will also gives me some magic damage reduction. Then I got the frost amulet with action speed and magic resistance. Short sword with additional and fizz power and armor pen. I got two agility on the chest with one fist power. We got one true magic damage reduction and fist damage bonus. Here we got one true debuff and buff duration. This isn't that great, it's okay. Uh, this ring's got one true max health and then magic, whatever. Uh, one true debuff, magic interaction, fist healing. Two fist power, fist damage bonus, debuff, regular interaction. Additional move and figure, regular interaction. 
and that is what my kit be looking like. What I would build for, because you're gonna get for around 320 move. You're gonna get enough fist power to hit hard. And you're gonna have enough action speed to shoot a recurve. And your HP is in the 115 range, 120 ish, depending on what kind of gear you get. Um, yeah, and I am 255 right now. 